All right, so here's the Nixie clock right now. Uh, added to it a, uh, a bunch of, here we go, three buttons. So minus, plus, and then uh, mode change, and then a uh, PWM brightness changer. So um, let's first demonstrate that the potentiometer changes the brightness of the tubes. So we can see here. It does indeed change the brightness of the tubes. Now the flickering happens because the thing isn't plugged in quite well. So the BWM values will kind of jump a little bit. That still needs to be um, limited in software. Um, now let's press the mode button. And we see that time stops counting and we can now change between the time. So let's set it to, let's say six o'clock and then 39th minute and then 60th setting. We can go both ways, of course. And when we press it again, the time is set to the new value and it starts counting. And if the clock loses power, when we turn it back on, uh, it, of course, keeps the time because it was set to the real-time clock. Now, the code itself is actually quite long. It's almost exactly 500 lines of code. Now, a lot of it can be rewritten because a lot of it is just kind of backwards. So that will be fixed soon, TM.